General Pipe Cleaners Model 88. The right machine for clearing heavy stoppages and tree roots in basement drains, lines to the street, or septic tank. This video gives you a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using the Model 88. It is not a complete list of all the recommended safety procedures and will not provide specific instructions for every application. Ask your dealer for a complete list of safety procedures. They can also give you more specific instructions to solve your particular clogged drain problem. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Model 88 can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. To determine whether you are using the proper drain cleaning tool, you must first locate the source of the problem. If only one drain in the house is backed up, the clog is likely to be in the line leading directly from that drain. If so, the Model 88 is not the appropriate tool to use. Consult your dealer for a model designed to clear smaller drain lines. If several drain lines are affected, then the blockage is probably in a larger line common to those drains. If this is the case, the Model 88 is the right tool for the job. The Model 88 provides a safe, clean way to clear larger drains. However, as with any power tool, certain safety precautions are necessary. Remember these safety rules as you operate the machine. Check the power cord to make sure there are no cuts or frays. Make sure the grounding prong is attached to the plug. Be sure the machine is plugged into a grounded outlet. Verify that the ground is connected. If the Model 88's power cord is not long enough, use a three-wire heavy-duty extension cord with a grounding prong. Using an ungrounded extension cord is very dangerous. Test the ground fault circuit interrupter before each use. Press the test button, then press the reset button. The light will indicate that it is operating properly. Do not operate the machine while standing in water. Wear leather gloves only. Never use any other type of glove, such as cloth, rubber, or coated gloves. Never touch the cable while it's rotating. Wear safety glasses or goggles to protect your eyes from any debris thrown from the rotating cable or drain opening. Operating the Model 88 is a one-person job. Never have someone else operate the pedal. This can result in serious injury. Never use the machine in a drain that has a chemical drain cleaner in it. Know how to shut off the machine in an emergency. Choosing the right cutters for your clogged drain problem is important. Your dealer will supply the appropriate tools for your needs. The spearhead and 2-inch U-cutter are good cutters to start with. They are ideal for cutting and scraping. The hook auger and retrieving tool are for removing loose objects that have been lost down the drain. The 3-inch heavy-duty saw blade and 4-inch rotary saw blade are used for cutting through tree roots and heavy stoppages. The 3 inch heavy duty side cutter is a good finishing tool. It scrapes the walls of the pipe for a more thorough cleaning job. Start with the smaller cutters. Then change to the larger cutters after you've gotten the water flowing. The ends of the cable may have L connectors or G connectors. Each length of cable will have a male connector on one end and a female connector on the other end. To couple the L cables, line up the solid pin in the male connector with the L-shaped notch in the female connector. Depress the spring pin and push the male connector into the female connector. Then turn the cable until the spring pin pops into place. Cutters are attached the same way. To disconnect the L cables, push down on the spring pin with the coupling wrench. Turn the male connector a quarter turn, then slide it out. To couple the G cables, turn the ring on the female connector until the notch in the ring lines up with the notch in the connector. Slide the tab on the male connector into the slot. Turn the ring a quarter turn until the button pops up. Cutters are attached the same way. To disconnect the G cables, 
push in the button with the coupling wrench. Then turn until the slot in the ring lines up with the connector. When using G cables, you will not need a wrench to couple or uncouple the cable to the machine. To couple, just turn the knurled ring on the drive coupling a quarter turn until it clicks into place. To uncouple, turn until the slots line up. Before you begin the job, check out where the line goes. If possible, use an opening beyond the trap. Make sure you have 12 to 15 feet of clear area around the drain opening to allow room for the machine to operate safely. Always turn the power switch off when coupling cables or cutters. Attach a cutter to the end of a cable. Push the cable into the drain opening as far as it will go. Depending on the location of the clog or bends in the line, you may be able to put in several lengths of cable. Attach the other end of the last cable inserted in the line to the cable drive coupler on the nose of the machine. If you are going through a trap, you may have to use the cable feeding tool to get started. Do not attempt to push the spinning cable in by hand. Remove the air pedal from the handle and place it on the floor so you can reach it easily beside the drain opening. Then take the cable feeding tool and press it against the cable as it goes into the drain opening, pushing the cable against the edge of the pipe. Put the power switch on the motor in the forward position. Step on the air pedal and run the machine until the cable moves freely into the drain. Stop by releasing the air pedal. Once the cable starts moving freely through the line, you no longer need the cable feeding tool. Return the pedal to its position on the Model 88's handle. Wrap any excess length of hose onto the cord holder at the rear of the machine. Stand behind the machine and press the air pedal to turn it on. The machine will start to move slowly toward the drain opening. Allow the cable to work its way through the drain by itself. Don't try to force the cable into the drain by pushing the machine. Make sure the machine isn't moving forward any faster than the cable is feeding itself into the drain. Avoid having any slack in the cable between the machine and the drain. If there is too much slack, the cable may whip. When there are only two feet of cable left between the drain opening and the machine, stop. You'll have to add another section of cable. First, detach the end of the cable from the machine. Hold the end of the cable while you disconnect it so it won't spring back. Then, pull the machine away from the drain by one cable length. Take the end of the cable sticking out of the drain and attach it to the female end of another length of cable. Connect the other end of the cable to the machine. Roll the machine back so there's no slack in the cable between the machine and the drain opening. Stand behind the machine, press the air pedal, and slowly walk the machine toward the drain as before. Don't force the cable into the drain. You won't clear the line any faster and you could damage the cable or seriously injure yourself. The cable must turn freely. If it jams, the cable will build up torque, start to buckle, and then in the blink of an eye, twist itself into a series of loops. If your hands are caught in a loop, you risk severe injury. Again, do not force the cable. If the cable begins to buckle or twist, stop by taking your hand off the air pedal. When you meet resistance in the drain, switch the motor from forward to reverse and run for several seconds. Then forward again. Allow the cable to stop spinning before going in the other direction. The cable will move out of the drain by itself. Just back the machine up enough to take up any slack in the cable as it emerges from the drain. Keep moving the cable in and out of the drain until the resistance lessens and the cable moves freely again. Go slow. Again, don't force the cable. Run water into the drain to wash away any cuttings and clean off the cable. After the drain is clear, retract the cable from the drain line by putting the motor in reverse. 
depressing the air pedal, and backing the machine away from the drain opening. Allow the cable to move out of the drain at its own rate. Just back up the machine enough to take up the slack in the cable. Disconnect each section as the connectors emerge from the drain. Remember to turn off the power switch when handling the cables. When you get close to the end of the last cable, turn off the power switch and pull the cable out of the drain by hand. If you leave the machine unattended, switch the machine off and pull out the plug. If you have any questions or difficulties, ask your dealer or call the Drain Brains at General. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.